based on her youth and with men it's the opposite they can be old as dirt child and people still oh he's handsome he has salt and pepper gray hair but let a woman's hair be gray it's like oh you need to dye that shit <laughs> am i lying you know so it, it's really sad so a lot of times you have a lot of older women who sit up here they're in competition with younger girls they feel away about younger girls and that's not cool but society does that. They they place people on these, you know, pedestals where it's like for women, it's not okay for them to age. And that's what kind of bothers me with Kim Kardashian. You're so busy talking about your DTF and you want BDE. You're out here talking like you're, you know, 15 to 21 years old. You're a grown woman in your 40s with a 10-year-old daughter and a bunch of kids. How about, you know, it's okay to act 40, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. But you have people, again, chasing this whole thing of youth. And there's nothing wrong with being young and youthful and you know being hip. I think I'm pretty hip, but I understand my age. I'm not about to be out here in competition with a bunch of 20 year olds. Your time is your time to shine. My time is my time to shine. And I think with aging, we also need to understand that one of the things that come with that is more knowledge. Like I feel happy that I know a lot more now at my age than I did 10, 15 years ago. You know, people forget about that, that knowledge and make not making the same mistakes that you made when you were younger, that those are valuable life lessons. So people need to like really appreciate aging. Cause like I said, in that documentary, the opposite of not aging is death. So we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna start taking some calls. I wanna hear y'all's opinion. What do you guys think about this? What do you guys think we're gonna go in the future? with this whole digital immor uh, immortality. Um, what, do you guys, what do you guys think as far as like, it feels like we're living in a Black Mirror episode? You know, you have a lot of these rich billionaires like Elon Musk and others um, trying to do things where they can like take their soul and their being and put it into the metaverse and live infinitely in that world. So there's lots of plans to basically take people from the physical world into this whole nether realm. So just raise your hand if you want to speak. I'm going to start bringing people up on stage and just stay muted until I call your name. So let's start with Liz. Liz, go ahead and unmute your microphone. Okay, um, Benita. Uh, it's Spinetta. Hi, T. How are you? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing great. I really, I love your channel, by the way. I've watched you for years and um, I'm really Thank excited you. to be talking to you. Um, but I really just want to touch on something that you spoke about. You spoke about how women aren't allowed to age gracefully. And I'll let you know right now, I'm 21. Mm -hmm. And I've been on my YouTube, on my social media, I've been getting a lot of ads for Botox. And one of the mm. ads that I was reading it, they were like, oh, it's, it's getting Botox in your 20s too early. I'm like, what? I'm reading this. And these are women that are in their 20s like myself. They're a little bit older. But they're telling us that at age 20 or even as young as 19, 18, we can start getting Botox so we don't have to get older. And I'm just like, this is ridiculous. Like, we should enjoy our youth. We should enjoy our our being young. And, you know, there's no just fountain of youth, but instead we're getting promoted and pumped with these ads that are telling us that we should we should look even younger. How young do you want me to look? I'm only 21, right? So, and even right. at 25, you're still extremely young. Even at 30, you're still young. There's some beautiful women in their 30s that look just as beautiful as they were in their 20s. So I feel like for mm -hmm. us, it's really the um, it's not even just the makeup as well. It's the actual procedures that they're making us or making us feel like we need to do because I don't think there's anything wrong with makeup. I think makeup is great. I love makeup, but it's actually the procedures that they're having us do that are really making us feel like we are not like good enough. You know what I'm saying? Especially for right. us women. 
And, and that's really like, scary being that you're only 21 because I remember when Botox first came out, you know, when it was starting to be promoted, like in the late nineties, it was, and you saw the commercial, it was older women in like their literally fifties and sixties. Yeah. And it was for crow's feet, you know, laugh lines, you know, things yeah. like that, where you could visibly see it. What crow's feet and laugh lines do a, does a 21 year old have? I'm honestly, confused. Honestly, and the women that were in the, in the ad that we're seeing, they were like, it said, I don't know if this was the real age, but in the ad, they were saying that they were 25, 26, like mid to late twenties. But even at that stage though, you're still young, you're still youthful. And I just want to, I think I've also, I've actually stopped um, following a lot of influencers and things like that, that promote these things on social mm -hmm. media, because we're not allowed to enjoy our youth. We're not allowed to, to just be ourselves anymore because we have to promote this image. Like at 21, sometimes I feel a little bit old, but I look back at myself, I'm like, what the hell? I've only, like, I literally just got the right to drink. I, I just got, I'm just, mm -hmm. I'm about to graduate college. You know, there's so much more life to live, but social media and these companies are having us feel like we need to do more to live. And also one thing you really touched on, you always touch on this, is this competition. Like I always feel like in terms of, cause I, I, I work in finance and marketing and I occupy mm -hmm. a lot of spaces where I work with much older people just because of where I work. Um, I don't right. see a lot of people my age, but within that category, I'm always feeling like I'm in competition with my older counterparts, especially when it comes to my work because of this youthfulness. Like I know one of my coworkers a few weeks ago, he said this and he, he is um is one of our managers and he was like oh she's only been here for a few months and she's doing it better than you and this is to my older co-worker and she's been there she's i think she's one of the receptionists but we all work together and mm -hmm. um yeah like he just really was comparing us and our youth and our age based on how good we work or whatever he was seeing i'm just like yeah, yeah and then that breeds animosity yeah, you know, it, it breeds really anger. And that was one thing like I used to hate when I was younger, when I was a teen, is that you would have a lot of older women like constantly like hating on like me and my friends, throwing shade, talking about our outfits. Like back then, I remember crop tops were in, right? You know, yeah. like how Leah used to wear her crop tops. <laughs> yeah. Chad, we'd wear with them big old Janko jeans, honey. So yes. we'd have our crop tops, you know, we're, we're walking around looking cute. And it was always like, oh, y'all look fast, y'all are doing too. It was always like this negativity. And I always told myself when I get older, I'm never going to do that because I feel like this. When are you going to enjoy your body? Mm -hmm. That is the time for you to enjoy the fact that you ain't, you don't have no kids, your waist is snatched, you're little. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. by the time you get into like your late 20s and 30s, you're popping out kids, you're getting stretch marks. So why would I sit here and hate on somebody who's 19, 20, 21? who's learning to, you know what I'm saying, express themselves and, and, and enjoying their body. And a lot of the women who would always have something to say, they don't pop out four or five kids, let themselves go. So now you want to sit on your porch all day and talk shit, you know? Yeah. So it's like, I never wanted to be that type of person. And I hate when I see that. And a lot of times, the reason why a lot of women end up with that mentality is because men, unfortunately, not all men, of course, they pit women against each other. I totally so, agree. You know, so you're going to get that at your job, especially if you're young, you're bright, you're doing your thing. And then you have somebody who's been there maybe 10 years, you know, they're, you know, everybody's always enamored with the new girl, right? At any job. So Definitely. that can make, you know, women who've been there for a while and who are older, you know, kind of feel away. And instead of them taking their animosity out towards the people who are picking out against each other, they're seeing you as competition. Yeah. And then it's like all this shade and eye rolling. It's very awkward, in, especially in corporate America. It definitely is. And especially when you're working in finance with these guys that some of these finance dudes, they don't sleep. So I'm telling you, we're the only women that they probably ever see. So it's even worse when you're working in finance and marketing because it's even heightened. Because like I said, we are working 40 plus hours a week with these same people every single day. But I just want to add one more thing before I leave. Mm -hmm. And it's just talking about like, I feel like I, I've gotten to know two different women. It's either they're hating on us or they want to be us. And which I'm a little bit uncomfortable because um, I have a, a friend's mom and she likes to dress the way we dress but mm -hmm. obviously I kind of really stopped dressing a little bit provocatively just because I don't want to anymore and it's just not my thing um but she's always trying to mimic us and it's kind of getting to the point where I think it's a little bit inappropriate and also like having those kind of conversations with them where 
I don't want to seem like, oh, you can't be like us, but I also want to be able to go out with my friends' mother because I do like my friends and we've been close for years, but mm-hmm. it's getting to the point where it's becoming- The mom is like the third wheel. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, and not- that's where as an adult, I, I, yeah. I know women who are like that. And even for me, because I am, you know, I have a younger spirit. I look a little bit younger. I always make it a conscious effort. I never invite myself to stuff with young people. Yeah. Now, if they say, you know, Miss T, we want you to come, you're invited to the cookout, and I ain't ate all day, you're damn right I'm coming. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But it, 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 you know, it's just about being appropriate. I'm yeah. not there to be, I'm not walking around in a belly top and a short skirt to be in competition with my son's friends and his homegirls. Yeah, yes, but, it's not not that, but it's the fact that you can actively see that they're trying to compete for the same and do right. the same exact things that we're doing, right? Like I could be twirling my hair and doing all this, you know, like, like we do mm-hmm. sometimes trying to impress the boys and you're in having her do it right along with us to guys that are around my age or just Your a little age, bit older, yeah. It's really, well, to me, it's just really. Well, the shocking. problem is you have some women again they're in competition with their daughters. See, that's mm-hmm. the conversation you don't like to have. Like somebody said in the chat, Bernice Burgos and her daughter. Her daughter's uh-huh. like 23, 24, 25. Bernice is in her, like, in her mid forties, but she's very much in competition with her daughter. And you have a lot of women who are like that, where it's like, now they want to go clubbing with their daughters and you know they're trying to get matching outfits and they're hollering at guys the same age and things like that. And there's nothing wrong with going out and hanging out with your kids. Me and my son have gone out and hung out together, you know. But again, I'm gonna act a certain way. I'm not gonna be yeah. trying to holler at his friends or people his age. So it's just about how you carry yourself. But yeah, you do, unfortunately, you do have some mothers who are very much in competition with their daughters because either they had them really young. So they feel like they missed out on, you know, parts of their teenage years or their 20s because they had to, you know, babysit and breastfeed and go to work and they weren't able to kick it because they had to be parents early. So now that their child is old enough to get out there and hang out, they want to hang with them, you know, and that's where it's it's a fine line. It's a fine line. Hey, tea sippers to listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.